In this video, I will show you how we can create service accounts for client push install. At the end of this video, I will show you how you can update the service accounts in the Configuration Manager console. Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technic Solutions. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon as well to get all the latest updates from this channel. Any links mentioned in this video, you will find in the description below. Let's get started. All right, so prerequisites for this video. So check part 12 of SCCM current branch full guide. In that part, I explained in detail how to set up client push installation and configure all the required firewall rules. All right, now let's talk about this client push installation account. Um, this is the Microsoft documentation, as you can see. I will leave that link in the description for you. You can check it out in your own time. So this account, has to be a member of local administrators group on the target client computers, all right? And uh, important thing to notice here is this account does not require domain admin rights. So it has to be just a domain user. This is exactly what we are going to do now. So what I will do, I will log on to domain controller, which is DC01. This is a CM01 we are looking at. On Technic CM01, I have performed all the steps which are demonstrated in part 12 of SCCM current branch full guide video series. So I will minimize this one. We will log on to DC01 and uh, what we will do, we will open Active Directory here. So in Active Directory, users and computers, we are going to create this account. So in Technex users, we have administrative users. So right click, new, we are going to create a user and uh, I will name it CM and the last name is CPI. So CPI is client push install. So user logon name CM underscore CPI, click next and here provide password and I will untick that user cannot change password password never expires so populate the password twice here and click on next so finish so this user is ready and uh, the next step is we are going to create a group so with the help of that group it will be a lot easy to manage any local admin accounts so in groups we will create a new group right click and uh, select new and then group so here I will name it Technex Local Admins and click on OK. So this group is ready and uh, the user that we have created, the service account for client push install, we will add that user as a member of this group. So right click and uh, go to properties and we will look at members. Currently there is no member so we will add that user that we just created as a member. So add and then type here cm underscore cpi and then check names so I click ok and hit apply click ok so we can also verify that we will double click again click on members you can see that cm cpi client push install that user has been added as a member of technex local admins all right so the next step is to add technex local admins that group as a member of local admins on the target computers. So the target computer organizational unit, in our case, it is, sits in uh, Technics computers, finance computers. So what we are going to do, we are going to use a group policy object to achieve that. So we will open group policy management. So go to tools and then look for group policy management, open that. And we are going to create a new group policy object. So extend your forest and then extend your domain. So extend again. So here we have group policy objects. So currently I have three here. So here we are going to create a new group policy object. So we can right click here in the space, new, and let's name it. It's a computer based group policy, C underscore technex local admins and click OK on it. So let's edit that and uh, right click and click on edit. So here we will change it to policies, extend that, make sure you are doing it under computer configuration. So extend policies and then we will go to Windows settings, extend that as well. And here we are going to select security settings. 
So within security settings, you will find restricted groups. So which is here, restricted groups. Double click on that, right click here, and then we will add group and uh, browse. So we will browse to Technex local admins. So I will type it here, Technex local admins, check names, click OK, and click OK. So now this is the step which is very important. In this step, we are going to add Technex local admins group to the local administrators group on the target devices. So we are going to select this group is a member of. So here click on add and type the group name. So we will browse again and here we will enter administrators. And once you enter administrators, click on check names and click OK. Click OK here again, click apply and click OK. So our group policy object is ready. So we can close that. And the next part is to apply that group policy object, to link that group policy object to the correct organizational unit. So we are going to link it to finance computers, so which is under Technics computers, extend that, finance computers, right click, link an existing GPO. So we will select that and we are selecting Technics local admins GPO and click OK. So you can link that group policy object to any of your organizational units where you want that group to be a member of your local administrators group. All right, basically this is ready. And uh, what we have to do is now we are going to test our group policy. So we have applied to finance computers. I will log on to PC01, which is part of the finance computers organizational unit. I will minimize that and PC01 is here. Let's uh, connect to it and I will log in. Let's do a group policy update on that. So Windows R, GP update, space, forward slash force. Hit enter. It's updating the policy. Here you go. So policy has completed successfully. So what we will do, either you can use uh, computer management here or you can use a PowerShell. So if you go to computer management, and here we will go to local users and groups. So we can extend that and we will select groups. So here is administrators group. So we want to check who are the members of this group. So double click on that and you will find Technex local admins is here. So this group makes our client push installation service account as a member of the local admins as well. So we can close that. And uh, so now we will connect to CM01 and we will update that service account in the administration settings. So connect to CM01 and we will go to administration in the workspaces and then change under site configuration, select site and in sites, select your site and in the top ribbon, you will see client installation settings. Click on that and select client push installation and then we will select accounts. So here you can see that originally I was using CM admin account and this is a domain admin. So which is not recommended by Microsoft to use that account. So we will remove that account and we will add a new account here. We will select here and then click on new account and here browse. So we will type CM underscore CPI and click on check names. And you can see that this account is here. Click OK and uh, provide password. We can verify if it has proper access. So provide the password here. So click on verify and then browse to network share. So we are going to test it on PC01. So we will browse to admin dollar so that we can see that if it has access as a local administrator account. So we will go back back PC01 backslash you can go c dollar or you can go admin dollar so i will select c dollar click on test connection you can see that the connection was successfully verified you would like to see that message so this message tells you cm underscore cpi is a local admin account and it can access c dollar or admin dollar on the pc01 or on the target machine
That's all for this video. If you find this video informative, give it a thumbs up and show your support. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon as well to get all the latest updates from this channel. If you have any questions or feedback, leave it in the comments box below. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one in the meantime.